Hey everybody, Ryan from Fluid Focus here. We've got the new Fox 2026 DHX2 that just arrived. Uh, this will be our test shock for development uh, when we develop piston kits, tunes. Um, if you know, basically we're trying to find some solutions to make this thing better and to, to optimize your ride. So let's throw this thing on the dyno, see what it can do, let's see its range, and uh, let's take a look and see what the, uh, the results are showing. This, uh, this tune is CL70 RL60 LMM Resi B80 Bleed 0.7. All right, so I have all the all the runs we did populated right here. Um, for the most part, we take the shock fully open and go click by click, closing off one adjuster at a time to see you know what that click does. Uh, so, for instance have compression wide open, rebound wide open, fully fast, fully soft. Then we'll start to close off low speed one click at a time. And then we'll get the range uh, from open to fully closed. And then we can you know, see how, how the lines are moving. Um, once we do that, we'll, uh, uh, we'll do the same thing with, uh, with high speed compression. And then we'll adjust the two together and um, and normally you get a pretty good range uh, out of a shock. On, on this particular shock, we didn't see a ton of range on compression. Um, definitely a different case with, um, with rebound, but was kind of surprised on the lack of range that out of the adjuster um, on compression. Uh, we have basically just all the low speed changes. Uh, this line right here separates compression from rebound. Um, in the simplest form, uh, simplest terms, really, anything above this line is compression. Anything below this line is rebound. The further above the line, so up here, this is uh, you know going to be stiffer. And then anything the, uh, below the line, the further below the line, is going to be slower rebound. Um, so for for right now, let's just talk about your compression lines. Um, from fully open to fully closed, uh, we're going from, let's see, from about 282 and a half pounds of force to 296 pounds of force, just using your low speed adjuster. Um, typically there's, there's more of a range and you would see more of a, um, of a spike right here on this nose and then your line would kind of go up and have more of a range, but um, for this, this particular shock, it looks like not a ton of adjustment on compression. 
as far as the range goes with the low speed adjuster. Um, but maybe you need to close off high speed also so there's less of a bleed uh, on the piston. Um, so let's pull up some high speed changes and uh, see what those look like. Okay, so I pulled up um, the high speed adjuster range, backed off of low speed again, so low speed's fully open, and now we're just seeing what the high speed compression adjuster does all by itself. Uh, and this again is from fully closed to fully open, and uh, we're looking at, sorry, we're looking at this line right here. Um, typically we like to see some nice spaces in between these lines um, for you know solid changes on each click and um, really it's all basically the same I haven't, I haven't ridden the shock so I you know it's hard to tell if, if you can feel those changes um, but as far as damping levels go um, we're going from 280 pounds to 292 so not not a ton of range there with the adjuster kind of same thing we're seeing with low speed um, I don't, know, I don't know if that's good or if that's bad. Uh, me personally, I would like to see some bigger changes with the adjuster so people have more options, um, but maybe this means when we're tuning that uh, you just have to be that much more dialed with, uh, with your tune to get somebody in the correct range because there really is very limited range with this particular stock tune. Uh, maybe it's different with other tunes, but this is just what we're seeing with ours. Uh, maybe there's some things we can do with the um, the high speed adjuster and it looks like there's going to be a bleed shim in there. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with that when we crack that open. Um, so now let's uh, let's go back on those adjusters and what I did is I ran, um, I went through the, uh, the Fox manual here and uh, I went through a few of their recommended settings um, thinking maybe that there's more to more range in the adjusters when both aren't fully open or fully closed or one's fully open and, and the other isn't so uh, let's pull some of those graphs up and see what those look like I have three graphs pulled up here um, we went off of the Fox recommended settings uh, they basically have three, more or less three compression settings that range from a, a 200 pound spring to 325 and then a 350 to 500 and then a 525 to 725 pound spring. Uh, so we ran these three graphs and, um, and this is what we got. Um, I guess I, I shouldn't say graphs, but we ran these three settings and these are the, the graphs that we did get. Um, so as you can see for a 200 pound spring to to 725 pound spring, not a ton of range in those adjusters. Uh, so that's that's kind of odd, but I I do see that being an opportunity for us as tuners to um, to come up with something that's going to have more of a range for the end user, which I'm super excited about. So that is one cool thing uh, where I think we can try to make some improvements. Uh, what I did notice is if you go to the to the force versus displacement graph. Um, this actually gives you a bigger picture of the entire damper. Um, what you want to see is a nice even shape on compression and then an even shape on rebound. If you get any weird hiccups, which you typically see on, um, on rebound, that would be cavitation. Um, but this looks to be pretty dang symmetrical, more or less. And uh, so the, the inner workings of the damper are actually really, really nice. So that is awesome. That's good to see. Um, so yeah, I guess my take from the, the compression side of the shock is uh, internally it's all working really well. And I see some awesome ways I think we can make some improvements. And uh, I'm looking forward to cracking into this thing. So now let's uh, let's take a look at the rebound settings, which honestly were uh, were pretty impressive, and I uh, will pull those up for you right now. Okay, so compression is wide open, and these are all of our different rebound settings through the adjusters. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, um, but you can see there's quite a quite a range here. So super stoked to see that. Uh, I think that's going to be good for a lot of people. 
and um, we can also make some huge changes on that as well. Um, so this video doesn't drag out. I'm not going to go through every single rebound change, but um, and I honestly hate making videos, but uh, it, it's just not me. But uh, I know it's good to educate people and and whatnot. So um, try to keep this video a little shorter, but. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome range on rebounds. Stoked to see that. We went from fully open on one adjuster, closed it down, click by click, ran that adjuster back open, and then on the next adjuster did the same thing. And then we ran the uh, the different settings, the recommended settings that Fox Fox did. So I will pull pull those up for you right now, and we can take a look at those. So looking at the rebound graph here, these are three different recommended settings that range from a 200 pound spring to 725 pound spring. You definitely get a range, um, so that's good to see. Uh, and like I said before, I think there's some awesome gains to be had on compression. Rebound, we can uh, make some changes there just to tailor it more towards somebody's specific use. Uh, but overall, rebound looks like it's, it's working really well. Uh, one thing we did notice is that um, if you have the shock, the, the, the shock's rebound fully open, um, it actually isn't as fast as, as if you back off the high speed adjuster by one click. Uh, when you have the thing fully open, the leaf spring is putting pressure on the post of the, I guess the VVC piston, and it's actually holding it down. So if you want faster rebound, basically come off one click of fully open, and that will actually speed your rebound up by, uh, by quite a bit. Uh, thanks for watching and um, on to the next one.